Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Urban Tea Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle Dub, in the building. Round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting here with my beautiful co-host, Miss Rita D, y'all. I am in the building. Man, this is Herbal Tea Podcast. We come to talk our shit about relationships, love, um, politics, religion, whatever, man. You know, we just don't talk about, man. So everything else, man, we appreciate y'all watching, man. So Rita D, how was your weekend? Listen, my weekend was long, y'all. <laughs> I am, I'm not at the ma'am uh, status yet, but I am at the auntie status. And it was giving me great auntie this weekend. Oh. We was hanging. <laughs> when I say I had a hot Cheetos weekend, because that boy was hot, it was on fire. Yeah, man. I had a good weekend as well, man. My bad, y'all. I just ran up through the damn stairs. I'm hot <laughs> as hell, man. I'm trying to get my, my mojo back, man, but I'm feeling good. So what did you what did you end up getting into? It's Leo season. Yeah, so y'all shout out to I, the Leo. Shout out to the Leos. So, you know, I went to a couple of birthday parties, went downtown. Oh, Monica Ashanti oh, yeah. was here at Hart Plaza. Yeah. A fight broke out. I heard they almost canceled. That rain had came in last minute, but yeah. they still kept going. But, yeah, I heard about the fight. What happened? Um, well, I saw it on social media. Mm-hmm. So, basically, I guess some um, dude had punched his girl. I don't know. These are just allegations. I'm yeah, not allegedly. sure. Allegedly. Um, punched his girlfriend. And Monica, she wasn't having that. She literally jumped off the stage. Got in dude face like security was holding her and grabbing her and everything and she was like we not about to do that. Oh my god, man! Detroit, what's going on? Niggas punching bitches at the show, man. You thought some white man was crazy? You gotta know your worth, man. Come on, man. That's crazy, but man. This is not even the first show that has happened at. Okay. Well, so is it Monica? <laughs> I think Monica. What you be singing, man? That damn song got niggas going crazy. Yes, it do. Yeah. So she jumped off the stage and stopped it. She like- jumped off the stage, like literally, like hopped down into the crowd, was moving people, like we uh uh-uh, uh we not about to do this. Stop yeah. this. Like she, one of her sons was coming out. It's all on the shade room. Mm, man, y'all to go check that out on the shade room, man. Definitely, mm-hmm. man. That is crazy, man. So our topic of the day. Well, my weekend was cool too. I hung out a little bit. Um, hung out um at the St. Regis uh last night. It was pretty cool, man. It Had was. a nice party, man. Um, then we ended up at the locker room. That's the uh, cougar. <laughs> That's the cougar and the uncle uh thing, man. So that was pretty cool, That's man. That's like you remember the after hours cutters. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we get the steak bites. Like, yeah, locker room is kind of like cutters, y'all. They have the outdoor patio. It was really, really nice. And then they have like the inside. So it is um, more of a grown-up crowd. Mm. Our other, the, a lot of people in our party that we had went through, went with, they end up going to the cigar bar. They like, Mm-mm, we need some other action. Yeah. But it wasn't ratchet or hood. But if y'all get a chance, check out the locker room. It's on um, Living Noise off of what I think between six and seven miles. You know what? I just drove by there and that bitch is packed already. Dang. I just drove by. It was packed already. People outside in front of it right now. Oh, I might go get me some of them chicken <laughs> egg rolls. Yeah. Between Curtis and Seven Mile. Between Curtis, Between and, Seven Curtis Mile. and Seven yeah. Mile. So yeah. if y'all live in Detroit, man, make sure y'all check out the locker room. Mm-hmm. And um, definitely come. Detroit, the city is just changing, man. I just see the involvement of it, man. It's a lot of investments. Mm-hmm. Uh, today I was watching uh, Love and Marriage Detroit, man. They got a Love and <laughs> Marriage Detroit like Huntsville and uh, D.C. So we get a lot of attention on us. You know, a lot of money funneling through here. So if you got any investments that you want to do, make sure you give a check make sure you come out so what's the what's the topic of the day but you know what to uh hit on the love and marriage um detroit i believe that the creator um carlos king is actually from detroit yeah yeah when it come on he says he's from detroit yeah Yeah, and so i just want to first of all tell him shit i mean big ups for doing it but he should have been there (laughs) you always pour and see that's the problem with uh sometimes when we leave our hometown i'm not even just speaking about um detroit but sometimes when we leave our hometown we don't pour in we have to start pouring into us if we start pouring into us and start working together and networking we could really turn this city around the reason why the city i feel like is turning around now is because we have all of these outside people that's investing in it when you see bike lanes go up and you see uh container companies and things like that that's not for us hell no and once the white people start jogging in your neighborhood you best believe them taxes going up on that they're not afraid they're trying to push (laughs) us all out to the suburbs yeah they're trying to push us out man a lot of people y'all open up these businesses and buying these big old homes in the suburbs, which houses you could have bought probably t- five, ten years ago, probably for a hundred thousand. The boys going for five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. So it just shows. You. I think it all started when they when they went, did the bankruptcy on the city. And then when they did that bankruptcy on the city, everything was cheap, and they sold it for, you know what I'm saying, for right. more. So right. now, now everybody owns more. Um, everybody has more uh, 
What's the name in it? But Equity shout out to Detroit, much. man. Um, yeah, shout out, to, shout out to the city, man. Shout out to man. When I go outside in Detroit, I feel comfortable. I don't feel like something's going to happen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because yeah. I, I guess maybe because I'm older and I hang in different neighborhoods now. You know what I'm saying? Where, but mm -hmm. I, I still feel comfortable. You know what I'm saying? But so. it might be because Greek Town got those um, metal detectors. Hell too. yeah, they ain't you playing. Go through the metal yeah. detectors. That's the, crazy. The I never... is on the beat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they brought it back to the beat. Yeah. They actually is walking around. But I like that because it gives us a gives Give it a presence, and then you have people like that's auntie status right now who mm. want to go down there and enjoy, enjoy really the it. city. Yeah, yeah, because I remember back in the day we used to just drive through and you know what I'm saying, not really do nothing. Not every building damn near got a face build up with a business. Absolutely. So if you got a black business Absolutely. out there, man, make sure you put Detroit on your map of places to come, man. I, um, mm -hmm. Another thing I did, I went up to Grayland, Michigan, for mm. working uh, early. Grayler, Gray, Grayland, and Gaylord. One thing about Michigan, Michigan is beautiful, man. Michigan has a lot of things. We go to a lot of other places. I was telling Miles the other day, we go to Tennessee and all these other different places. Mm -hmm. But Michigan has a lot of, uh, enough places for us to explore, go see, you know what right, I'm saying, and right. be a part of. So, right. makes pure Michigan, man. Just come to Michigan, period, man. I'm shouting wait, us out you were into saying, the cold. I, I, um, you was telling us over the weekend that when you went up there, you actually was able to see the thumb. See the thumb. I was at the top. I was in Tawas, T-A-W-A-S, East Tawas. And from there, you could see the top of the thumb. I'm on the other side of the um of the uh, Lake Michigan, mm -hmm. so you get a chance, come check us out. Beautiful, beautiful, Another beautiful. Another beautiful place is Traverse City too. Mm, I've been I've seeing, been. A, I've been seeing a lot of people on social media. So I went to school up north. Oh, you did? Yeah, my brother went to school in Traverse City, mm. so it's not like how it is now. I haven't been up there in years, but mm. even where I went to school at, it's just evolving. Yeah. Michigan has some beautiful places. We have beaches. Yeah, we got a lot of beaches. I mean, it's it's really beautiful. So yeah. if y'all get a chance to check out, or if y'all get a chance to even come to Michigan, and y'all want to take like a little getaway, or a little have a little, you know, vacation or mm -hmm. staycation, or y'all self cation or take reader cation <laughs> we can go up north and check it out because yeah. I've been watching on my social media and people have been wine tasting and mm. ATV and yeah. all of that some everything so, so yeah man definitely sometimes man. you don't have to leave your state yeah, to have the, some fun to have fun man and definitely um, you can rent a cabin and all that man so definitely mm -hmm. good fishing up there so shout out to Lake Michigan shout out to Michigan period yeah I and I it. also heard that we got some cabins I was uh, Miles was telling um, us about some cabins yeah, that they, they had that, like Allenberg Cummins Michigan Cummins Michigan Michigan, so definitely, man, they got cabin. Because I know everybody run to Gatlinburg and all that in Tennessee, but y'all definitely could come up here to Michigan and uh, show us some love, definitely, man. All right. So we're going to kick the show off, man. Thank y'all. Wait, I got to tell them something okay, before we kick our show off. We found Carly. We hey. know where she at. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too soon? I'm not sure. In that, okay, so let yeah. me touch on that. Oh, go I'm going to touch on that, too. Mm -hmm. But let me touch on that. Do you all think it's too soon to be... With the jokes, because I've been seeing different people on social media. Some mm. people like, why we got to attack our own people? Yeah. Like, they really wasn't looking for her. They <coughs> thought she was lying from the beginning. Yeah. And then you have other people like Carly, and she's a member of sorority. And they mm. was like, and AK Alien, you will forever know me as First 48. Yeah, damn. And I'm like, but see the is thing, it too soon? No, man, you know, with the internet, it's never too soon. As soon as it's going to happen, they're going to make the jokes, man. That's but true. But I just feel like with her, man, Um, this is my point of view of her doing this. And he, allegedly, I don't know if it's true or not, but the way it's looking, it's looking like it's bad that she faked everything. Um, It's a lot of black women out here that's missing, a lot of kids that's missing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You wasted all those resources and all that time. That's people true. looking for you. And there's people out here that's really missing. So shout out to the people that's really missing their kids and that, that could have used them resources to go into fire their kids fucking with this motherfucker. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's how I think. You know but then I, mean? I want to take it as another aspect because at first, you know, I was laughing at the memes. You know, I yeah. had seen the whole Kevin Hart joke and he said he was on a freeway with a baby and a zebra. And I was like, <laughs> wow, did she really take that from him or taking hmm. things like that? But then, you know, I tapped into um, other people posting and saying, you know, mental health is serious. Right. And so I looked at it from that aspect as it's we don't ever never know what somebody is going through mm -hmm. and so with that being said i do want to you know i'm gonna pray for her i'm gonna pray for her too because man. i don't know we i don't know what the true story is but what i am saying is i've been in a dark place before mm -hmm. and so i don't i've never went to this extent you know i just shut down completely but sometimes people they need that um 
they need somebody to feel like they care. Yeah. And yeah. obviously she may have felt like, and I'm just playing devil's advocate, she may have felt like nobody was listening to her. Yeah. She kept talking, but even in a room full of people, she still felt alone. Yeah, and I felt like that in just far as relationships. I'd have been with people and felt alone. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I didn't love somebody and felt alone. And I didn't been in a room, like you said, been in a room full of people. Sometimes you gotta be able to get your voice out here, man. You and have um, to. you had to have somebody to talk to. I know we look down at therapy because you know we don't want nobody to tell all our business and all that shit, but at the same mm-hmm. time, Man, it is what it is. You definitely got to be able to talk to somebody. So seek some help. If you having a hard time, you can DM me. I'll listen. You know, I'm one of those strong people that have been through the storm and the rain. And I don't mind just listening to somebody or even just giving some advice. Mm. Like, everybody needs somebody. So if you feel alone and you know me, you can DM me. I'm not, you know, going out on no dates with none of y'all or whatever. <laughs> but if you yeah. just need some sound advice or just mm. somebody to even listen to you, before it get that to that point where you try to take your own life because suicide is real. Suicide. Mental health is real as well. Mm. Reach out to somebody. Mm. Please. Did she do this over a man, though? That's what they were saying? Well, a story. Because the power of the good dick. Let's talk about that. (laughs) And so her boyfriend had released a statement. Okay. And said, you know, um, just pray for her. You know mm. what I'm saying? Because you don't ever know what somebody is going through, just like yeah. I was stating or whatever. But it was a story out there was saying that um, her and her boyfriend was going through some rocky times or something like that. Mm. And she just, maybe she didn't have anybody to turn to. Yeah. And maybe she was trying to get his attention as and well. So, and sometimes you don't want to be telling all your business. You know what I'm That's saying? True. With family and everybody That's else. True. Because once you start telling your business, I said this previously. Once you start telling family your business and your relationship and y'all still working this shit out, then not, now you go around the family, they looking at him different. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Now you done told all these stories about how he ain't shit, but you still at the family, you, you making the plate for him. Mm-hmm. So definitely, man, make sure you, um, but no, always t- t- get a chance to talk to somebody. Before we start the show, man, I want to shout out to my man, Joe. He got the uh, fan shirts. If y'all want, y'all can go on his uh, thing um, for... Uh, Fake ass non supporters. That's what it's called, man. Fans. I got the shirt from him, so shout out to him. Make sure y'all go um check him out on his uh website, fans, uh definitely. And he got an album coming out on seven twenty six. All right. All right. So wait, I know we gotta get into the shop. Uh, go ahead. But man. I'ma just let y'all know. The reason why you just seeing me and dub today mm. is because I'ma let y'all know something mm. that he that he told me. Mm-hmm. We was nominated, y'all. We was nominated. Come we on, man. We was nominated. The Potskers. For, in the Potskers mm-hmm. for two categories. So the first category um, we were nominated was for Best Duo. Mm-hmm. So we thought today, since we was nominated for it, why don't it just be me and him? Yeah. And we let y'all know why <laughs> we are the best duo. We are the best duo, We man. don't need no guests. <laughs> And shout out to the uh, shout out to everybody else that's in the running as well. I yes, mean, it's gonna be absolutely. a bad loss. It's not a bad loss when we win this award. It's <laughs> right. just something that y'all can do and work harder to try to get it next year because we definitely going home with it. Yeah. And um, if I get word that we not winning, I'm not going. So, but then also I'm gonna be honest with you because y'all know I didn't send it out to everybody. I'm talking yeah. about people on my social media on both platforms. I'm talking about my family. I'm talking about my sorority. I'm talking about my friends. I'm mm-hmm. talking about people I just been seeing yeah. and I've been having a vote but what I will tell y'all is I don't know what's going on with the site right now I'm going to give out the site but I don't know what's going on with the site right now because one of my family um, members texted me before I came um, to the show and they said that it was some technical difficulties with them voting so um, we'll be asking an engineer or he'll be giving us an answer since he mm-hmm. now knows the question the they, oh, broke, they the broke the internet voting yeah. voting so wow. voting is over no Okay, so, so you can get on there and vote as many times as you want, man. Make sure y'all vote for us, Herbal Tea yeah, Podcast. Vote one time, that's a problem. They broke. <laughs> so vote, yeah, vote one time. Yeah. Um, I know y'all probably having y'all people vote daily or whatever, but that's mm. why it's broke. And an, and another thing I want to tell y'all real quick, man. We just got a lot of updates to do for y'all before we start this show. But we got um, nominated for another one too. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. My bad, we on that. Go ahead. So the um other one that we were nominated for. So don't forget to vote for us for the best duo. Mm-hmm. Also, uh, best. All around show, I guess. It yeah. says best all over podcast or whatever, but it's best show. Best I mean, show. we come with all types of content. We don't have any um, gender specific or Mm-mm. ethics or anything like that. We just keep it 100. And I think that um, the thing that distinguishes our show mm. between a lot of other shows is that we just keep it 100. We, we real with it. We don't lie about it. We don't fake about it. Mm-hmm. And we just... And I, I think that a lot of other show, a lot of you know a lot of shows bring people on their show, but we definitely we don't we don't we don't we we love all businesses, but we center around the small black businesses because we want it. those to come up and pump as well. So make sure y'all get out there and vote ten times, twenty times, thirty times, forty times. Yes, but, it's um, um, www.podscores.com. 
pod scars. Well, he can put it up on the thing, so y'all can definitely um, because this TikTok twenty three is technology. He could definitely put he it up can. on the screen. He definitely can. <laughs> so make sure y'all vote for uh, Herbal Tea Podcast in both categories: Best yeah, Duo definitely. Herbal Tea Podcast, also Best Overall Podcast Herbal Tea. Mesh definitely. Um, before we start the podcast, I do want to say them that we had changed to pot on the end of the podcast the podcast because we growing as a podcast so we can't just have no a specific thing that we trying to do like push marijuana and nothing like that I smoke she don't you know what I'm saying but at the same time it's just trying to time to grow up and far as take our podcast to the next level and it's hard to get different guests on there when you uh, pushing a specific thing so I want to say we the podcast P-O-D-C-A-S-T make sure y'all follow us on Brooks Media on YouTube and on Facebook so definitely man so we gonna get this show cracking man I'm ready to talk some shit me too. I've been All waiting right. for this. <laughs> All right. So, what's the question for the day? Read it, dude. All right. So, listen. Um, every uh, day, um, Dub goes on social media and he asks these questions. Um, centered around Herbal Tea Podcast, so we can see what the viewers want to talk about and what they like. And this was the most. Um, this was the one that had the most comments. So we went with this. Mm. Uh, the topic of the day is how long into dating someone do you post them on your social media? Mm. Mm, that's a deep question. That is a deep question. That's a deep question, man. And, and most of the people that was on the page, most people said uh, today was married, and um, most people said, well, until such and such, such and such. A lot, a lot of people just would wait. You know what I'm saying? So why, why do you think people are nervous to post their person on social media? Um, one, because either they have something to hide or they fearing that that person has something to hide. Mm -hmm. And that. But when you want to find out. I mean, yeah, but you're going to find out. Yeah, You're going to find out no matter what. You're going to find out whether it's being posted on social media or whether somebody's telling you or whether you got a vibe or whether you, uh, your intuition, you're going to know. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I think <sighs> nothing is serious now. Yeah. Dating Everything is microwave. Is Everything is microwave. And so being single and doing you and doing what you want to do is accepted. So there is no commitment. So the people that really truly are posting are those people that saw something in them and actually was like, you know what? I'm tired of playing games. I'm mm -hmm. about to lock you down. Yeah. So who do, so who do, who take, so when you, before y'all get married, that's what I want to know. Cause a lot of people, I'm gonna read some of the comments off social media in a minute, but when y'all go on vacations and all that stuff, y'all just wait. I mean, you don't take no pictures with them while y'all out of town or how is that? Oh yeah. You always taking pictures, selfies, yeah. us sees you have somebody else. Uh, that's yeah. Here. So Family you post them and showing them, you know them. what I'm saying? Yeah, and you might be, but you you got to understand that our women, they sneaking them in. So mm. they going to post a couple of pictures of their girls, yeah. them, uh, some group pictures, then they going to start posting <laughs> them individual pictures. Yeah, 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 so yeah. So that's yeah. what you got to pay attention so to. So what about you? What about you? Would you? How long would you take you to post your person on social media? It's no time frame. Okay. If I'm feeling it and I want to post you, I'm going to post you. I mean... Because that's my business. Mm. So the only thing it's going to get a reaction from is the dudes that's hopping in my DM. Yeah, yeah. The girls going to be loving it. Yeah, You yeah. know what I'm saying? But... At, so, end the, at the end of the day, man, it, like you said, I, I go off of what I want to do. You know yeah, what I'm saying? If, I no feel, if I'm feeling you and all that, but I just got to make sure that this is what we doing. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because I don't want to fuck up my other action that I got going on. <laughs> <laughs> talk about, talk about this bay, and then, then you know that inbox is like, oh, you got a nigga, that, you know, so you got a little chick that show. Listen, you know? I'm gonna tell y'all that thirst is so real. I was posting, um. What is it? Um, stories. I was posting stories, you know, trying to get my followers up, trying right. to have them follow um, a podcast and, you know, just putting my name out there and posting reels and things like that. Right. And they going to slide in your DM no period. matter what. They don't give a damn. They do not I think people, care. period, so don't. So posting somebody don't do nothing, but that might even more attract them more. Like, let me see if I can steal her. Yeah, I think people really don't value relationships, value connections with nobody. I think everything is so microwave and everything is so, you know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. what, I'm just in this moment right now. You know what I'm saying? I think people date for moments and not for longevity. Absolutely. And that's fucked up. You know it what I'm saying? Is. Because we don't have, you see, you don't see a lot of weddings. You know what I'm saying? I probably can count mm -hmm. on my hand probably about two or three weddings that I've seen in the last two or three years. You know what I'm saying? There's probably two I, of them that I've been to. I so, haven't been to a wedding. Mm -hmm. I can't even remember the last time yeah. I've been to a wedding. Yeah, so what is the disconnect for us as far as the showing the commitment far as that? Do you think that it's just everybody just always going to be for themselves? Has social media completely broke the dynamic of dating? Social media is definitely a bad influence on relationships. Mm. Um, we get too comfortable 
mm. and allowing other people mm. to dictate what we put on our page. Yeah. We look for solidification. Mm. We look for somebody to validate us. If mm. I get a thousand likes, then A, I'm that deal. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? But you got to always think about they watching. Mm-hmm. And I think that we have un- 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 unrealistic expectations. A lot of motherfuckers, we go, we want to date people that social media going to be like, damn, they look good. Mm-hmm. Damn, they, they, they happy. And a lot of times in relationships, man, you can see a happy couple on there and they going man. through the worst shit in the world. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and that's the problem right there because <laughs> everybody's trying to fake the fun. Fake the fun. People are afraid to be embarrassed. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, man, love is supposed to, you're supposed to be vulnerable with your love. And when do you start owning who you are? When do you choose you? When do you choose to be happy? Mm. And you stay in a, you know what I'm saying? You, it's, it's, it's like, okay, so like when I was in a relationship, mm. um, I was not posting mm. my partner. Mm. Why not? Because it wasn't their business. Mm. Um, it wasn't the fact that I was embarrassed to post or anything like that, but it's mm. like at the time, social media to me that no, my relationship was a it's 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 my private right. business. You want to keep it to yeah, yourself. Yeah, social until. media to me is not to put all your business up there to let everybody know what you're going through. Mm, that's you true. You can put some me, you know, you can put some reels up there trying to encourage people and things like that. Mm. But sometimes social media is people only outlet but then you have people that post that is just trying to get attention Mm -hmm. they don't even really want to post what they post and they just trying to get some attention just trying to get some attention man I think that um, a lot of times people use that shit against you a lot of times as soon as you post that person you put their name on every all the people gonna go look and see who they is you know what I'm saying yes I'm guilty of that (laughs) yeah I'm definitely guilty of that looking like what they doing over there I'm guilty of that Man, so you know, at the end of the day, man, it's all about you and what you got, what you feel like you um comfortable with posting. Comfortable with posting, man. I think that social media is a. I don't know, man. I I, I post my back. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But what if you post? Yo, <laughs> what if you post your, your significant other? You tag them and they on the set to tag. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I'll give them like do? fifteen minutes, man. Yeah. I'm calling. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. You ever had that before? I did. That shit happened to me one time. I was dating this girl in Mississippi. I posted and tagged her ass, man. I'm yeah. like, for the tag. Yeah. That shit was still hanging there. I'm like, what's wrong with you? She's like, I ain't got to my phone yet. Bitch, you just answered the phone. You just answered that tag. And that's the thing. People mm-hmm. keep listening, y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm about to give y'all a gym. We got our phones in our hands all, all the time. day, yeah. every day. Yeah. So all that, I can't answer. I ain't have my phone. I can't text. I ain't have my phone. That shit's so Silly rabbit. Bougie. Check this for kids. <laughs> All right, man. I'll read y'all some of these um, as far as the question of the day on the, face, on the Facebook page. Makia I says, when I get married. Arthur Kennedy, she says, when we on the honeymoon. Jess White just says, never. Teresa says, no time stamp. Could could be longer or shorter time. I just need to feel the sta- that we are enough. We are, we are together enough to say that I can claim it. So, you know, I guess you got to feel like you got to be able to want to claim it and shit. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. And a lot of people put pictures up for, like I said, validation on social media. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, they, 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 they miserable as hell at the crib. Don't mm-hmm. even sleep in the same bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you got to just do what's best for you. You can't let nobody dictate dictate your relationship. It's just like we're paying bills and money and things like that. It's what works best for that relationship. That's true. That's true. That's true. All right, man, I got a question for the We can start this show off, man. If you, uh, we ain't on no call in, so y'all just type in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all can call in at, uh, <laughs> what's the damn number? Ain't no number. Fuck the number then. All right, man, for our first question I got for you, Rita D, today is, um, what wall did you build around yourself that kept you from accomplishing your goals or some goals? Did you ever build a wall around yourself? Like, far as you like, um, like, damn, I, I'm, you know what I'm saying? That kept you from accomplishing goals? Um, no, I don't think I, I built a wall, but um, fear of the mm-hmm. unknown. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just being able to now live in my truth and be able to step out there on faith and be like, oh, well, I'm going to do this. And if it don't work out, it don't work out. Mm. I, it was always that second chance or me second guessing myself like well what if it don't work out or what if it fails mm-hmm. well, what if it work out and you do win mm. Mm. so now it's like okay it's my time yeah. it's, it's my time to shine <coughs> all around hell yeah I think with me um, as soon as the camera go back on me um, 
<laughs> I think with me, man, it, it was that no new friends thing. And that's the worst mm. you can do because new friends bring new opportunities. You know yep. what I'm saying? They yep. open new doors. So, you know, you know, in yeah. Detroit, we always been that, oh, I'm tougher than everybody. I don't want nobody to know my Absolutely. business. And I don't want to meet no new people. And I learned that when I was in Miami, man, I ended up meeting this dude. I think I told everybody this story before. And he ended up talking to me in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the water by myself. You know, I'm just feeling that Miami water. And he walking up. So he walking up close as hell to me. So I'm like, why is this nigga walking so close to me? We got his room. And he ended up... Uh, <laughs> So in my mind, I said, Dub, just let it go, relax, just talk to dog, keep cool, whatever. And at first, I thought he was on some uh, homosexual things, which which I'm cool with homosexuals, you know. I, I don't do it, but I, you know, I don't have nothing against y'all no more. Um, <laughs> we, we used to fight him back in the day. I'm being real. I'm sorry, <laughs> dog. We didn't know. And um, he ended up. He's a, um, he works at Lifetime right now. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. He's the guy that you send your movies to if you want to get a movie on Lifetime. So okay. definitely one of a good friends. Stay down in Atlanta, man. Shout out to him, man. But uh, yeah, it was definitely that no yeah. new friends thing, man. And um, I, yeah. Have you ever been in that no I new used to be like that And mm -hmm. it's funny that you say that Because today I posted on my social media I said I'm not accepting No frenemies mm -hmm. I'm not accepting No frenemies Carry on Because It's like As soon as somebody Know that you're friends With somebody Y'all ever had You ever had that happen Where as soon as somebody um, See that you're friends With somebody Or mm -hmm. mutual friends yeah. Then they start yeah. Like trying to be your friend <laughs> Like, like they get your ass out. you <laughs> What are you here yeah. for What are you doing Get yeah. your ass out man yeah. Alright man Next question I got Um now, this is kind of deep. Um, is it a desperation for companionship that can make a guy take on years of avoidable liability or dealing with another man's child? Hmm? Question. Being a step parent is 100% investment, 0% 0 in return. Um, what makes people with no kids date people with kids? Now, I used to be like that, where I used to be the type of woman where I'm like, I ain't dating nobody that got kids. I don't want a baby mama drama. I'm not da 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. But I think that as you get older and you start realizing that a step parent, like, I have friends who are step parents. And mm -hmm. I have um, multiple uh, people that have adopted children. Yeah. And so I think that step parent is... A ugly word. Mm. I feel like it should be like a bonus parent. Yes. It should be somebody that if you love me enough to treat me and take care of me as your own, mm. it ain't nothing to step about you. Right, right. You're one of the talk. realest per people that I <coughs> ever met. You know mm. what I'm saying? Man, woman, because it takes a lot to love somebody mm. else. Children. Yeah, it take, take, takes a lot. You then, know? But so so far as you, when you used to be like that, what made you transfer out of that? Like, what made you get out of that way of thinking? Like, all right, I'm going to get somebody a chance. Because I started to see, I started to really see a person for who they were. Mm. I started to look at other situations, my friends, and seeing how good they were at, you know, being with their children who mm -hmm. was not their children, but you couldn't tell wasn't their children because they just came in and filled in the gap. Yeah. I feel like if you a step-parent, mm. You should be able to treat that child as your own. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about discipline and things like that because they have parents and things like that. That's true. But as far as love, mm -hmm. it is not enough love that a person can get. Yes, 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 so, yes. Why not? Yeah, I think um, I, I haven't had no kids in so long. I don't remember not having no kids. I mean, my oldest daughter, 22. But um, if I was out here didn't have no kids, I probably would look first for the person who doesn't have no kids. But at, at my age, at 40, I. It's hard yeah. to find people without no kids. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you just try to find people that's linked into them. But at my daughter and my son, I, I tell them definitely don't date nobody with no kids mm -hmm. at y'all age right now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Try to have fun. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. Shout out to my kids. All right, next question. <laughs> <laughs> How long has it been since you met somebody you really click with and vibe with? That's a deep question, because for me, man, it's been, I, I, I have met, you know, in the last couple of weeks, I've been meeting people, but it's like, it's hard to find that high school click where you just want to be excited about being on the phone with them mm -hmm. and kicking it with them. Like, does that still exist? Like the, you know, that type of, you I know? think that type of love exists, but mm. I think that it's the consistency that needs to go mm. along with it existing. Yes. Because it'd be good for the first couple of months, and then y'all get to a rough path where y'all hit a, um... A roadblock and it's mm. like damn well what happened to how we used to feel yeah. what happened to the text messages what happened to staying on the phone what happened to uh i was just seeing how you was doing mm. we so 
like you said, microwave, yeah. it's convenient. We texting, what's up? How you doing? You know, like sometimes you have a whole argument in a text and mm. it's all misconstrued just yeah. because you ain't pick up the phone. Yeah, yeah. So we got to get back to showing those people that, dang, you do matter. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that texting, man, that can mess you up, man, because you mm -hmm. have a way of saying something and it'll throw somebody all the way off. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all motherfuckers get to argue next, you know, you ain't talk to their ass no more. And you could care less, <laughs> like, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, man, next question, man. How, how how long of the day should y'all move in with each other? Wow. Mm. I don't think it's a time frame on that. I don't think it is. Neither. I mean, whenever you want to move in, because at the end of the day, you got to mm. think about it. If y'all are vibing like that, say y'all are vibing like that and y'all together every day, y'all are either spending the night over one of either either that house or mm -hmm. the other house or whatever. So why don't y'all just come together and pay them bills? Man, I'm 40, man. Let's try it. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? If it don't work, it ain't gonna kill me. <laughs> All we can do is move out. You know what I'm saying? Now, this question goes along with that. What if you move in, everything is good, but you don't, and, and, and let's say his kids come over and you don't get along with the motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So how do, do you make a judgment off the relationship with that or do you just say fuck it? No, because he, we not going to allow ourselves not to get along. Mm. We're going to sit Come down on. and discuss what the problem is. Yeah. You know, if we can move forward. Like, why would we not get along? Because, you know, sometimes, oh, this this daddy girlfriend, he, she ain't my mama. Yeah, you know, but, that little weak and, shit come and, up. But I think that the love, well, the love, I don't know. I can't speak for everybody, but I think that a woman is naturally nurturing. Mm -hmm. So the love that you have for him is going to transpire fire to his kids. Because how could you not love his kids if you love him? That's true. That's true. So I, with that being said, mm -hmm. it's, I don't think it's going to be no I don't I, I don't think it would be tension or drama mm. uh, with the children more or less maybe the mom or something like that yeah. I mean I haven't been in that situation so I really can't yeah. speak for, and do you know a lot of times these I mamas man they, they'll put that bad seed in their ear like yeah when she go over there she can't, she can't tell you what to do on you listen to your daddy you oh, know what I'm saying I didn't see that, that old that fuck happen. ass bullshit they're gonna let me have put this nigga outside and wait for your ass to come pick him up but no at the same time you see <laughs> so you see that <laughs> oh bad ass I'm gonna put him out no, but say you say you seen it happen what happened I seen that happen and you know I, shout out to my girl Um, she's married and um um, her husband's children just hate her. Mm. <laughs> it's just, it, I mean, well, it's not like that now, but it mm. was like that in the beginning, and it, it was because of the mom. It was because um, what the mom was saying, like she doesn't, ha she can't tell you what to do. Yeah. Like nobody's trying to tell nobody kids what to do. No. I mean, it's time to go to bed. It's ten thirty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. At the end yeah, of the yeah. day. You know, sometimes y'all got to sit down and be grown up adults. But what I have learned from that situation as yeah. well is that nine times out of ten, if that woman is doing that with her children, yeah. she must want that man back. She still something. wants she to feel, she, she got to want him back. Because at the end of the day, if you got, if, if you know your, you know he's not going to do nothing to your kid, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. to bring no bullshit around your kid. So if you, if, 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 as a woman, you should be able to go and meet her and talk to her face to face. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people be so bitter and so mad over the relationship yeah. ending. That you got to go meet people that's around your child. So, shit, don't be afraid. Because sometimes, I mean, mm -hmm. because eventually she going to move on. Yeah, she going to move and on. And dude is going to be there. Mm -hmm. And so, with that being said, either it's now, it's later, it's in the middle. But mm -hmm. they're going to eventually um, introduce the children. But if your kid grown, hey, you ain't got to come over here, little nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I don't need you to come through. Hey, now, meet, your, meet, your, meet, your, meet your mom at the park or something, nigga. Meet I your, think um, uh, Tia... Uh, <laughs> Mallory, she got a her and her husband got a divorce. Um, okay, she got a divorce. I think his last name, I can't remember his first name, but I think it was like Hardwick or something like that. Mm -hmm. They have a rule where you can't introduce any significant other to their children at least um, until you're six months in. With that's person. real talk. I agree with that. That's a, that's a, something that people should do. Period. Yeah, time. You know what I'm saying, yeah, don't be introducing that nigga that just come over and bring that piece at night <laughs> so the kids will get out the way and get that pussy. Or they they just <laughs> up late and yeah. they hurt. Yeah, get a pound town, pound town, give a pound town. Yeah, man, hell no. Nah. So at the end of the day, man, definitely, man, take some time out um, before you introduce your kids. You know, and I, I agree with that, man. That's a good ass way yeah, of thinking. Yeah, because it is a scary world out here. You gotta be careful who you bring around your children. You know what I'm saying? But if you want to commit a relationship and you plan on being with this person mm. and y'all are, you know, moving forward, I think that first she should uh, meet the um, mom and things like that. I mean, everybody should be able to meet and come together. It's mm. the betterment of the child. Like at the end of the day. It's for the baby. It's for the baby, man. Yeah. All right, next question, man, coming from the great Charleston White. And this is a question that I got actually for you. 
Um, what do you think about this? Only a bitch or a hoe will fight and argue with a man, but a lady will remove herself from the presence of a disrespectful arguing boy trying to be a man. What do you think about that? No, I don't agree with that. Okay. Um, I think that sometimes the reason why arguments happen is because like the person we not listening to each other. Yeah. That person not listening to you. You not listening to that person, and then you try to uh, over talk that person to get your point across, and mm. then the argument starts. No, I'm talking about like 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 let's say you out. You know what I'm saying? You out. You and your girls having a good time. Oh, it's, okay. it's a nigga acting like a whole ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Do to you, me? Yeah, like he he trying to argue and talk to you. Would you remove yourself or try to win yeah, the argument? A, okay, so the way the life is set up. Everywhere, mm. people getting killed for senseless acts. Yeah. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to, as I get older, remove myself from any situation that's negative, any situation that may cause eat some heart, some um hurt to myself, danger. You know, um, I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah, and I'm sometimes that's away. what it is, man. I, and and that's, that's and that's why I try to tell it people. It ain't worth it. To make it in Detroit or a big city, you got to walk away. A lot of times, motherfuckers be like, I ain't no whole-ass nigga. I, nigga, as long as you don't put your hands on me and say mm -hmm. nothing too disrespectful or touch me, nigga, really, yeah. I can just get the fuck on. You want? And road rage is just <coughs> ridiculous right now. It is. Right I now. think I got it. I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> that shit, people get on your damn nerve riding. But you say you'll walk away, though. Mm-hmm. No, that's real shit, man. I want to go home at the end of the night. Hell yeah. All right. What have you, what have you and your part? No, my bad, y'all. Uh, next question I got for y'all is, I just lost my spot. I apologize. Uh, <laughs> All right. Um, you get new furniture. Y'all fucking on y'all furniture? Y'all new furniture? Do you be fucking on your new furniture? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fucking, furniture too expensive, man. It's Hell a, yeah, man. Listen. I can't ain't fuck on no new little, furniture. Um, wet wipes or something can't, you know, mm. clean on. All right, so how do you feel about someone ending things without any reason, just ghosting you out of nowhere? Have you ever been ghosted? No. Have you ghosted someone? No. You haven't? Mm -mm. Yeah, I've ghosted. I mean, I think that shit. Like, is. what's your definition of ghost? Like, just all of a sudden, just never call you back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I didn't block some people. Why? <laughs> Cause I just don't have the time. Nah, but sometimes it, you know, sometimes I just think that uh, you should at least give me a reason why you ain't fucking with me. If I the mean, dick was good, then let me know. If it's a committed relationship, mm. but if y'all just dating or y'all just talking, I mean, what? Listen, I'm not feeling this because the problem is when you tell a guy I just had this happen. When you tell a guy in my DM, like how are you questioning me in my DM? Right. Like, listen, y'all, <laughs> we gotta stop questioning people on their page yeah. and in their DM because I don't want to. That's why. So I just had a guy ask to take me to a concert. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Mm. I got a man. Right. I'm good. Okay. Oh, you got a man? Yeah. I didn't know that. Why would you? Yeah. It's none of your business. Mm -hmm. But then you keep going with the Damn. questions. Are you happy? And I don't know why the fuck I'm so hot in this motherfucker, man. I'm burning right. up. Apologize. But Goodness. yeah, go ahead. No, but um, I think, uh, yeah, a lot of so, people yeah, can't take no for you have to ghost those people, you have to block those people, or you have to let them know, like, hey, I'm not Some interested. people can't take no for an answer. They just really want to know why, 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 why. But Nigga, ain't no more. after trying for months and months and months. Like, mm -hmm. you're giving me lame vibes. All right. Next question. If you got to spend money on a if you gotta if you gotta spend money to keep her, she don't want you for real, for real. What do you think about that? Yeah. Straight up, if you yeah. gotta keep spending money going out your way. Mm-hmm. Damn. Why you gotta keep on spending money? Because I guess that women say that you know that you know you gotta take them out and do all this shit. You know. The I mean, court. you can take them out without spending money. Yeah, yeah. Why women always? Why do people always want to go out? Why, is picnic still a thing? Is walking by the water still yes, a thing? Yes, I love the water. Yeah. yeah. Is that a thing for water. a first date? If you like, I'm gonna take you out downtown. It for, could be a while. vibe. It could absolutely be a vibe because recently I went downtown and I didn't even know that they had those um, pictures and those murals up walking down mm, Shane Park mm -hmm. with um, some of the Motown artists. And it's fabulous yeah. down there. The water was nice. Listen, if you cannot afford a, a line seat ticket to Shane Park, yeah. there is this park that is right next to Shane Park. The ambiance is everything, okay? Mm, mm. And you can hear the band. Y'all can sit out there and listen to um, people go back and forth. You can buy some uh, sausages, hot dogs. They down there with the food truck. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, it's really nice. So money don't always have to be involved. Have you ever fucked with an ugly motherfucker and made an insecure motherfucker be secure? Now they acting bougie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 
you know, yeah. I, I had, you know, dated out of my, um, you know how people, like, standards and yeah. expectations. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I dated somebody that was ugly. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, maybe he gonna, you know, he can treat me right. Yeah. Now he act like, he <laughs> act like he the best thing to slice bread. Like, yeah, man. So, you wasn't even on my level. Mm-hmm. Like, I upgraded you. Yeah, I did. I dated ugly motherfucker. She started cheating on me. I'm like, damn, bitch. <laughs> I done got you a chance. You cheated on a nigga that looked better than me, too, little bitch. <laughs> but maybe it was that they mm-hmm. saw that person with you, and they was like, oh. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's not all about looks because I have looked at people that have dated people and I'm like, oh, hell no. I, we are not on the same level. Mm-hmm. Like, when you get mad when you see somebody that they had dated or yeah. that they dated and you be like, ain't no way in hell. This motherfucker picked this motherfucker. <laughs> I could have been hell yeah, man. Yeah, that shit oh, crazy, man. man. All right, next question, man. What is a soulmate and have you met yours before? Mm. Ooh, that is a deep question. We're going to um, start with what is a soulmate to you? <laughs> I have to take a yeah. That's the what is a soulmate to me? What is a soulmate, soulmate to me is somebody that can not only just keep my inner peace, but the consistency, mm. keep me well rounded, see the good in me, bring out the good in me, mm. push me to be better, mm. allow me to come with all my baggage and my flaws, and still love me for who I am. Mm. Okay, that okay. She did one of these. That's like love me for who I am. To me, that's a soulmate <laughs> to me because you know what, dating is hard. Mm-hmm. And you got to get it right with somebody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people always be like, "You don't. Uh, once you done, you done. I ain't, you don't go back." Yeah. Cause I already been there. Yeah, I already been there. I already yeah, been there. Yeah, been there, so done there. What am I going backwards for? Yeah, so. I think a lot of times people go back to feel that. A lot of times people think history means love and they comfort space and all that shit. Mm-hmm. But at the same times, once you keep going back, you're going back to the same problems because shit ain't gonna change. People don't want to change, man. Mm-hmm. For real, we is, and that's the biggest thing. We afraid to change, man. Definitely. Because it's been good. Okay, so I'm not gonna say I never went back, but mm. I have chose to not go back. Yeah. So when I did go back. It um was it better for a minute or it was better for a minute, but then everything just went back to what it was used to, and it was like, damn, you know, God was like, hey, do I gotta hurt you again? Mm, realize who you come are. Come on, man, yeah, yeah, that's real shit. Hell yeah, God will do that. Put you in no positions and shit. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, man, we are gonna start it with the letter from the inbox today. I had like seven of them, but I just picked this one. Um, oh, that was a lucky person. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. But we gonna next week we probably gonna do this again, just me and Reed, and we just gonna do all inbox questions. Um, looking for advice. I met this woman recently and slept with her the third time we for seeing each other. We've been vibing, we've been vibing, but lately I'm kind of lost interest. The pussy, the the pissy bed, kind of turned me off today. Like pee pee, pee pee. Oh. <laughs> the pissy bed kind of turned me off. Today, uh, today she wants to hang out after work, etc. But a brother just don't want to hang at at her with, at home solo. I know if we meet up and things will lead to one one thing will lead to another. How do I kindly let this lady go? Just tell her. Mm. I'm a her bed pissy. No, just tell her. I mean, you don't need. Uh. Mm, it depends on um, how depth the relationship is in regards to what you need to say. Yeah. I don't think that he probably need to go in there all details like that. But just let her know that he's not interested because what y'all have to understand is men, we as women, mm. we can accept it. Mm-hmm. You don't have to bear her feelings because mm. her bed is wet. I mean, just let her know. Just yeah. listen. We not vibing. Your house nasty. You don't tell her your Dang, house nasty. You don't got to tell her her house yeah, is yeah, nasty. Yeah, yeah. Cause I, you don't gotta hurt people's feelings, but sometimes it you could know. be a way that she could correct some shit. A lot of times it could we, be. cause I think in dating, a lot of times but he said he wasn't interested. You looking into the? He said he wasn't interested. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cause I'm trying to go there. Him a way right? out. I'm trying to give away. He yeah. said I'm not interested. Yeah. It would have. The question would have been. How do I change her yeah. from wetness? Bro, you, he not interested. I agree with Rita D, man. You just got to just go let now. her go. A lot less yeah, heartache and pain. Less heartache and pain, man. All right, we're going to get to the best part of the show to everybody watching, folks. Y'all don't fuck with me. Y'all fuck with her. This is Rita D's Read. All right, so all up and down my timeline, it's another season, y'all. It is a season for everybody to be encouraged. It is a season for somebody to pick you up, for somebody to have your back, and for somebody to tell you that you okay. Mm. So listen to me and listen to me closely. Sometimes God is not punishing you. He is preparing you. Mm. Every no is not 
bad. Every no, sometimes you won't find out later in life until why I really was no. And you could have really just be dodging a bullet, okay? Right. Stop allowing people to let you live through their consequences. Mm. Stop allowing people to let you live through their consequences. Mm. Adjust situations, actions, and start taking accountability and responsibility. Mm -hmm. Some people need to know this. I was one of them. It's okay to begin to pick up the pieces and put them back together, even if the puzzle isn't all the way broken. Mm. Mm. Get you back. It is okay, y'all. Start picking up those pieces, putting them back together. You know how you have a puzzle and sometimes one piece is missing and you searching all over the house and you bump it to the table and now it's a couple of pieces missing? Mm. Get that one piece together. Mm. Get that one piece together. Stop trusting people's words and start trusting their actions. Mm. They'll show you who they are every time. Mm -hmm. The answer be right in front of us. The answer be right in front of us. Mm. It's okay to you lose yourself as long as you get back up, dust yourself off. And pick yourself back up. Amen. I believe in you. I see you. I know you're capable. I know you can win. I know it because I'm looking at y'all stories. I'm looking at y'all reels. Even if don't nobody like it, keep posting. Even if don't nobody like it, keep posting because somebody is watching. Mm. This week, I want y'all to drink y'all water. <coughs> eat y'all fruits and vegetables. Get that mani. Get that petty. Keep that lip gloss popping. Keep praying, y'all. Keep fasting. Some things in life you cannot have without fasting. So incorporate that into your life. Mm. Keep believing. Keep pursuing. Mainly, just keep going. Mm. Just keep going. Mm. Most of all, y'all make sure y'all vote for Over to You Podcast. Yes. And the Pie Scores. Yes. Make sure y'all vote for us. Please. Last but not least, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to Herbal Tea Podcast because it don't cost a thing. It's, it's free. Man, deaf man. Hey, give a round of applause for Rita D's Read, man. Everybody love that part of the segment. It's going to be in the reels from after these days. We're going to start putting the reels so she can get her exposure on. Um, Rita D's Read. Make sure y'all check that out. Um, make sure y'all check out the Podskers. Make sure y'all go vote for us. Y'all can vote right. as many times as y'all want. Y'all don't have to vote for us. but <laughs> Y'all don't have to vote for us, but if y'all don't, fuck y'all. We ain't fucking with y'all. We were um, nominated for the Best Duo Team Podcast, and we also were nominated for Best Overall Podcast. If we haven't showed y'all in this hour who are we the best duo, Man, come on. Y'all are sleeping on us. And you know what's so crazy? We're going to start doing this a little bit more. Because I, I like guests. You know what I'm saying? If you want to come on a business with you know with a business, we don't mind that. But I just like me and my partner, man, because we get shit done, knock shit down. Um, shout out to Miles for putting the Poskers together, man. And we definitely going to be yeah. in the building. Y'all can come meet us, man. We ain't no funny acting motherfuckers. Y'all can walk up on us, take pictures with us. We not, you know, we not, mm -hmm. no, you know, no bougie motherfuckers. Um, what I want to do say is I want to shout out to um, shout out to everybody that's been supporting us. The Dixon family, my family. Um, everybody that's been in our corner because this shit is hard to do every week just come up in here and have the motivation to do that mm -hmm. shit so shout out to the other people that do podcasts because nigga just coming up in here when everybody ain't making no millions of gazillions of dollars off this shit we just doing this shit because we love this shit and um yeah. shout out to us man shout out to um like i said fans you know uh, f uh fake uh, fake ass non supporters, my homeboy Dro. He definitely coming out with his album. I'm about to do mine, 11 11 coming out. I'm going to have Miles help me with that. Um, shout out to you. Shout out to the people that's going to the gym. Shout out to the people that's eating healthy. Shout out to the people that want to live life and be healthy, man. Because one thing about it, the food is killing us. So you got to pick the worst, the best of the worst. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And um, shout out to Rita D, the best co host in the world. And um, hopefully in hey, August, man, we'll be having our big ass trophy right here. You know what I'm saying? And um, man, shout out to everybody. But man. also, um, shout out to the people that's struggling with those silent ba uh, silent um, battles that they going through. Mm. You know, I, mental health is real heavy on my heart um, because I used to work with the mental health at my job. And it's real heavy on my heart because I saw firsthand how people could just be fine one day and then messed up the next day. I witnessed people. Um, I went to a funeral where somebody took their life because they just felt like they didn't have no way out. Mm. So I've been seeing it up and down my timeline. So I just want to tell everybody that it's okay it's gonna be all right believe in yourself like i said get a relationship with god know that he is he will bring you through everything everything, thing. everything. Keep your faith. just keep believing if you believe mm. he'll just bring you through yeah. shout out shout out shout out shout out shout out shout out to um wj shout out to wj this was For his sure. vision sure. this was his vision he gave me a platform this is kind of rocking and we rocking mm. you gave me a platform this is therapy a lot of people inbox me and text me and things like that and be like dang you know your skin is flawless. I'm going to tell you all right now. I do not have a skin regimen. However, 
I'm taking accountability and I made an appointment to see a dermatologist. Mm. I made an appointment to see a dermatologist because I'm starting to get blemishes and things like that. I'm getting older, mm-hmm. but I don't have a skin regimen. So when y'all see me and y'all be like, dang, you mm-hmm. look better in person. Yeah, I get and these jeans from my mother. <laughs> Shout out to my mother. Shout, Shout, out, Shout out to, to Miss Dixon, man. Definitely. Tell us when the uh, pie scores is. The pie um, scores are eight, August 25th. August so 25th. we want to get y'all votes in, man. Make sure y'all vote for us, man. And You um, can buy tickets, too. You can buy tickets and come out and check us out, man. And I think the tickets is uh, expensive as hell, but I want y'all to come <laughs> out, man. The tickets are $55. <laughs> $55. They, they $55. Yeah. Um, it's really red carpet. Uh, yeah. Fox 2 News. Dress to impress. Yeah, Spots yeah. 2 News will be there. Um, Charlie the Duff. Uh, Charlie Langston going to uh, host it. The crazy dude, yeah, he going to be whatever. on there. Oh. Um, it's $55. That include, um a full course. Meal. You get a whole Dinner. meal. He don't know what it meal is. Meal of entertainment. But we gonna we gonna have more information on this. And next week we'll have a thing where it's gonna come up on the screen so y'all can see it or y'all can screenshot it. So right. shout out to us, man. Shout out to Herbal Two Podcast. We out this motherfucker. Peace, Peace out.